Yo, what's up, bro? I want to talk a little bit about priorities, okay? In the past, I always talk about how I used to wake up every single morning and I would feel guilty, I would feel regretful, I would feel shameful, I would feel anxious. I just wouldn't like how I was living. I wasn't proud of myself. I wasn't happy with the way I was conducting myself. And now, every single morning when I wake up, I'm excited to start my day. I feel grateful for my life. I just, I'm happy, right? And I always thought that in the past, when I was waking up guilty and shameful, regretful, it was it was the habits that I was engaging in, right? I thought, okay... Every single day, I'm just playing a bunch of video games. Every single day, I'm just smoking weed. Every single day, I'm eating junk food. And I thought that's what was making me so depressed and so sad. But I've come to find out over months and months of building my discipline and learning about self-improvement and actually applying what I've learned, it, it really came down to how I was prioritizing those things and how and my priorities around them. Okay, so I have this list that I talk about in a recent video. You can click somewhere up here. And basically, this list, I call it the Daily W's list. And it's it's five lists. It's based on the power list by Andy Frisella, but it has a couple extra factors to it. So with with the with the daily W's list, it's five it's five tasks, right, that I have to get done every single day. And the stipulations for these tasks are just one, they have to be completely in my control, right? It can't be anything where anyone has any say on whether or not I get it done. Anyone can have any influence on it. It's just do I choose to do it or do I not? Okay, so for example, tracking my macros, tracking my calories. That's completely up to me whether or not I do it. Okay. It's what it's completely up to me whether or not I stay in line with my diet and my goals and things like that. Okay. So that's the first stipulation. The second one is that it has to make me proud. Okay. It has to be something that will bring me closer to my goals. It has to be something that'll make me proud that I completed it. Okay. And so every single time when I check off all five of these tasks, I'd write a check mark beside them. And then if I get all five done, I write a big W on the page. And that's from the power list. And so with that, I've found that if I implement this and I get everything done, let's say by 11, and then I spend the rest of my day just kind of chilling, I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad if I just spend the rest of my day chilling because I know that I got everything done and I'm proud of myself for getting those things done. And in the past, the way that I would prioritize these things is like, okay, I would wake up and I would be so addicted to these video games, so addicted to the weed, so addicted to everything that the first thing I would do upon waking up is brush my teeth and go smoke weed. After I smoked weed, I would come back inside and I'd be in that like seeking state, that seeking, like I just wanted instant gratification. I would come back inside, play video games. While I'm playing video games, I'm like, oh, maybe, maybe I'll have a snack. And then it would start this cycle of just smoking weed, playing video games, eating junk food, this big ass cycle. But now when I wake up every single day, I do things that I know I'll be proud of. So I complete my morning routine, something that I will be proud of. I read something I'm proud of. I come to the gym, something I'm proud of. I get home. I film videos, I shower, I eat food that I know is good for my goals, that's bringing me closer to my goals, feel proud of myself, get everything I need to do done, and then I enjoy my, my, my day. Whatever, whatever it is that I feel like enjoying, I do it, whatever. As long as it's in alignment with my conscience. This is a very key portion, okay? I allow regret to be my guideline. This is something that I learned from Wes Watson, and I've used it every single day since I started applying it because I realized how important it is. I allow regret to be my guideline and I reflect on these things before I do them. So if I'm sitting there, I finish my day, right? And I have my end of work routine where I like write a little journal on like, I got these things done today. I'm proud of myself for that. Good shit. Tomorrow I'm going to do this. All right. That ends my work day. It gets my brain out of work mode. And then I'm like, okay, will I regret playing video games for two hours right now? No. Okay. I'll play video games. But if I, if I say in my brain, would I regret playing video games right now? well, if there's something else I have to do, then yeah. Okay, so I won't play video games. It's a very, it's something that is very, very like awareness driven, right? I have to be very aware of what I'm doing, whether or not I should be doing it, what I'll feel if I do it. Like I reflect on these things and I ponder them a lot before I actually go through with them, right? And it's just about awareness. It's about awareness of what you're gonna feel from doing that thing. So now, the, the habits that I used to have that were a big struggle for me aren't a struggle for me anymore. I can enjoy those things when I want to and not enjoy them when I know that I, I have something better to do or I need to do something else that's a higher priority. And it all comes down to priorities. I made a video recently called All the Pain in My Life Came from a Lack of Discipline. And that's 100% true. But you could also replace that with priorities. All, my, all the pain in my life came from having the wrong priorities. But then I guess it just goes even further too. 
I didn't have the discipline to stick to the things that I knew were a higher priority. Because I knew that video games were not a higher priority than my goals. But I would still play video games instead of working on my goals. And that was, just came down to a discipline thing. But once, once you can build up that discipline, then it's like, okay, what are the priorities in my life? And what's a system that I can build to stick to those things? This is just something that I've been thinking about a lot. I had a coaching call recently with a client and we were talking about this exact topic where it's like he changed his priorities. Once we started, once we started talking, I was like, okay, build out a a very, very clear vision of who you want to become, reverse engineer that and look at the tasks that you need to do every single day to get there and then do those things, make that your priority, do those things. And once you get those things done, you're good. That's a W day. That's a win day. Okay. And since he's been doing that, bro, this guy has not missed. And it's like, he'll text me every single day about like, he's just so grateful and so happy. And it's like, dude, it all came down to just his priorities. He wakes up now. He works out. He wakes up now. He tracks his calories for the day. He like plans it out for the day. And he's like, fuck yeah, I did that shit. He wakes up now. He meditates, he journals, he reads. And then he has the rest of his day to do whatever he wants to get done, but he doesn't feel guilty. He doesn't feel shameful anymore because now he knows that he got his day done. He knows that he's working towards his goals. He knows that he's getting more fit. He knows that he's healthy. He knows that he's actually doing things that are bringing him closer. He feels in alignment. So that makes him just be like, okay, I'm proud of myself now. I'm happy with how I'm living. So I'm winning. And that's all it's about, bro. I'm, I'm happy with how I'm living now because every single day I wake up, I do things that I know I'll be proud of. And then when I'm done those things, I just enjoy my day. And it's this, I always hated the word balance, man, but it's this, it's this balance that I have now where I'm like, I'm proud of myself for getting my priorities dealt with. And then after I do that, I can just enjoy myself. And I feel so calm and a good word for it is aligned. I feel so aligned with what I know is right for myself. And that's a big key about something like a lot of the stuff I talk about on my channel is so applicable to anyone because you don't, I'm not going to tell you what you need to do. I used to always do that on my channel where I would be like, oh, you have to do this. You have to act this way. You have to journal. You have to read. Like if you won't feel proud of yourself for reading, if that's not something that you're really like, well, reading is just super important. And I feel like (laughs) I just kind of went back on myself there because I guess reading is just something that's like. I feel like everyone should read. But if you don't enjoy actually reading, maybe it's audiobooks, maybe it's podcasts. Like you should be filling your brain with good good content, right? But for example, journaling. A lot of people don't enjoy journaling. I always hated journaling these like big long brain dumps, right? If you don't actually feel proud of yourself after journaling, if you don't feel more clarity, if you don't feel like it's bringing you actual progress, then don't journal. Replace it with something that you actually know you'll be proud of yourself for doing. It's a very individual thing. There's a lot of universal like qualities or values or mindsets that will probably help, but they have to come from your own, like what you actually like, what you actually enjoy, what you actually want for yourself. Because if someone else is just telling you to do it and you're just doing it because they said so, you're, it's not going to have the same effect. It has to be something that you see, right? And you're like, man, I want that for myself. I'm going to find, I'm going to reverse engineer it and make it happen. And then when you make it happen, you'll be proud of yourself. It's so important. And it's just about priorities. It's discipline to priorities and your own priorities, what you actually want. This video is kind of all over the place. I've been struggling to record videos recently because I've, I've, I've been talking about recently that I've been like in this kind of low, right? Where I was like, I was feeling really good for legit, like six months straight. I was like, killing it. And then these past like four or five days, I've been feeling kind of low, but then today I felt a little bit better and it's still been like just getting back in the groove of everything, man, just getting back in the groove of everything. I hope something I said in this video helped you change your perspective, made you ponder something, think differently. I appreciate you watching a lot. Check my Instagram, subscribe, etc., etc. I appreciate you, bro. Take care.